What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you the results of a 72 hour fast with three Muay Thai workouts in between and three four to five mile runs each per day. Um, so quick note is that if you guys are new to fasting, if you're new to the snake diet, this is not for you, do not do this, all right? This is for advanced or intermediate people who are looking to experiment with something a little bit more challenging than just not eating, drinking snake juice and lying around and doing nothing. Um, I've been fasting since 2002, doing one meal a day, and I've done a lot of 48s, a lot of 72s, and for this, I just wanted to see what it would be like if I trained for three days in a row like I normally would, but just didn't eat anything and only drink snake juice. So make sure you watch the full video, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. If you guys want to get in shape, it's very simple. All you have to do, publicly commit to getting in shape, losing weight, fasting, whatever it is, post it on the internet for all of your friends and family to see, and as many random internet strangers as also can see, and then just make videos every single day that document your progress. Because today I'm supposed to start a 72 hour fast, and I can tell you right now, like physically, I don't want to. You know, like right now, it's like 8.30 in the morning, I'd love to just go eat a pizza. But I've already publicly committed to do this, and I just have a lot riding on the line where I have to do it. And obviously I know it's gonna be good for me, but when you have that additional leverage, it just makes it much easier to follow through. I'm about to go do my Muay Thai workout and run, and then I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on the 72 hour fast, so stick around. Um, just finished a 48 hour fast yesterday, ate a bunch of raw duck liver, I ate some raw steaks, so probably not as lean as I was yesterday, but I've got 72 hours, which is three days where I'm not going to be eating anything. And I'm going to come in here to my beautiful Yin Muay Thai camp, working out, doing some, doing some Muay Thai, and hoping that I don't die. So I realized why I've been feeling like shit for the past couple days. I thought it was keto flu, and it might partially be keto flu, but I think the real reason was because I was low on electrolytes. Because they don't have low salt, like the potassium chloride, they don't have that here in Thailand, or at least I haven't been able to find it. So I got an electrolyte mix from 7-Eleven, and I drank some of that yesterday. I feel very good. Now I have a run and a workout. Today is day five working out. I fasted yesterday. I got another day of fasting today. And then I'll be ripped. So if you want to see that, stick around. This is it. The hill of death. Oh no, it doesn't just start there. It goes there. And then it goes around. And around and around. Yo, what's up guys? This is day two of the 72 hour fast. So I haven't eaten, what is today? Today is Sunday. Haven't eaten since Friday night. Will not eat again until Monday night. So I'm about halfway through at this point. <sighs> definitely leaner, definitely leaner, but also definitely very low energy. I upped the electrolytes yesterday. Uh, you can see that little, that bottle right there. Now it does have sugar in it. It's got glucose, but it's also got potassium and sodium and all kinds of other good stuff. And I had to make the choice between drinking that or not getting any electrolytes because all I had here was the Himalayan pink salt. Couldn't find any potassium chloride. So I just decided to bite the bullet and get that instead. I'm hoping that I will burn off whatever sugar is in there. You know, like on my run up here, I'm sure like I burned a lot more than that and it shouldn't kick me out of ketosis for too long. And overall, I still feel pretty good. I definitely feel much better when I drink that stuff. Um, today, I did come to the Muay Thai gym, but I don't think I'm gonna do any Muay Thai workouts. I am absolutely fucking destroyed. And I'm trying to kick the bag, and like, there's no, there's no power there. So I think I just might hit the kettlebells today, run back down, and then tomorrow is, tomorrow I get to eat, thank goodness. I'll probably come here and work out again, because I wanna try and get the full seven days of working out in a row. Today's only day five. <sighs> I'm so dead. <laughs> All right, stick around and uh, I'll give you an update very soon. 
This has been my, my workout so far today. It's like me lying on the floor. It's Sunday, so I don't feel so bad about that. Not like it matters, but I'm just like, oh, I'm so dead, I can't do anything. <laughs> Oh. When you don't eat for 72 hours, you do weird things, like come hang out in the grocery store. And you come look at all the food that you're planning on eating. When you're done with your fast, ah, like this, duck liver, I can't wait. Day three, 72 hour fast, I feel like I mean, I don't feel that bad, but I'm just exhausted. I have no energy. I guess I thought I would have a lot more energy during this fast, but you know, I am working out a lot. I'm running like five miles a day, I'm doing these Muay Thai workouts. Like yesterday, for example, when I came home, I worked for maybe four or five hours, and then I was just dead. Three hour nap. By then it was like four o'clock, just spent the rest of the day, like literally doing nothing. I'll make a video about this later, but I would say one of the hardest things about fasting is figuring out what you're going to do with all your free time. I didn't realize how much time you spend eating and recovering from eating. So now I have like all this extra time, whereas before if I wanted to take a break, I would go out and like get a snack just to like pass the time, kind of, just to kind of feel that like momentary pleasure. But when you're fasting, you don't have that. Anyway, I'm going to go work out right now. Um, and uh, if you want to see the results, stick around because you're about to see them. That's what I feel like right now. Garbage. Action! Are you, yeah, you filming? Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, what's up guys? Just finished a 72 hour fast. You can see, pretty lean. I feel like shit. Um, did Muay Thai workouts, a five mile run every single day. You can tell, lost a lot of weight. My board shorts are falling off a lot. No, don't kiss. Be easy. Be easy with the cameraman. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend this. I would say the final verdict of uh, of the fasting while doing Muay Thai. I wouldn't recommend it for like training purposes. Like I didn't train better while I was deprived of food. I guess that's kind of common sense. But um, I just wanted to try it. I guess it's good for cutting weight. If you want to like reduce your weight before a fight, or if you're just trying to like lose weight. But um, I, I've worked out six days in a row now. Today's day six. And I noticed that today, yesterday, and the day before, like I had pretty much zero energy at the gym. Um, so, I mean, you know, on the one hand, yeah, okay, I lost weight and I still worked out in the meantime. Bye. But what, how, how good were the workouts that I really got? You know, like how much did I learn? Plus, I've also noticed my wrist hurting a little bit more, so I'm not sure if like the lack of protein has like fucked up my wrist or something like that, um, or if I just maybe punched wrong because I am still kind of getting back into it, and your body does need to adjust to the high impact when you get used to it. <sighs> anyway, glad I made it. I'm really looking forward to eating later today. So, if you want to see what a refeed after a 72-hour fast would look like, then be sure to um, click the video. I'll link it in the description. We need some raw beef, some raw duck liver, and maybe even a raw squid. We'll see if I can do that. Okay, so if you guys like this video and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and that's it. Shout out to Cole Robinson, my trainer. Peace.